Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the Broadband Bully presents to you the Broadband Bulletin, where we give you guys the latest and the greatest, the ups and downs, the smiles and the frowns from all around the gaming industry, the gaming community, all around the world. Up oh, first, the bat is myself, Next Gen Silver 20, and we're going to talk about this masterpiece of a game called Cuphead. Gamers are singing the praise. Reviewers are singing the praise. It says Cuphead gives them that old school, soulful, James Brown feel, funk the five. This is a man's world. Or what got him into gaming? But it's one catch. A lot of casual gamers are saying the game is too hard. And if you live in New York City, they say the rent is too damn high. I represent the rent is too damn high party. But on a serious note, rumor has it that Phil Spencer originally had the game pushed back. He told Studio MDHR Entertainment to tone down the difficulty settings. And gamers are still complaining that the game was too hard. Hmm. What do you think? Bacon, 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 bacon grease. Bacon grease. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, it's your boy MM2K here to give you the quick rundown on the talks of PUBG coming to PlayStation 4, yo. As you all know, PUBG, aka Players Unknown Battlegrounds, is the hottest title on the scene right now, with a reported over 12 million copies sold. That's just on PC, folks. That's unbelievable. So when Microsoft revealed earlier this year that PUBG was coming to the Xbox One family, then at Gamescom they announced that they were partnering with Bluehole to publish the game on Xbox One, we all had high hopes the Juggernaut would potentially become a full console exclusive. Err, uh, wrong. Per the success of the ripoff version of PUBG, aka Fortnite's Battle Royale mode, it seems Bluehole got a little nervous. That's because Fortnite's Battle Royale mode had a million downloads since it released. So, to Xbox fans' dismay, Blue Hole came out of nowhere and announced that they are in talks with Sony right now to publish a version of PUBG on the PlayStation 4. Now this is all the while Microsoft devs are there right now helping them with water effects tech and all that other jazz. Yo, at the end of the day, it's just another example of how the new regime at Microsoft and Xbox can't do what they need to to either lock down titles or garner some type of confidentiality out of their business partners. <coughs> Tomb Raider. That's the news from your boy. On to the next one. What's going on, people? It's the King's Blood himself, Garrett, representing that broadband bullies, and I'm here to tell you guys about Fortnite Battle Royale mode. So I downloaded this update because everyone said, hey, this Battle Royale mode is just like PUBG. But little did I know, it was literally just like PUBG. This Battle Royale mode is a ripoff of PUBG and H1Z1 but it's like a watered down version of it. And quite frankly, it is ugly as shit. <laughs> this game, it looks worse than PUBG. It looks worse than Crackdown 3. This game looks terrible. And this battle royale mode is just so watered down. Like no weapon attachments, no vehicles. Uh, it takes like 10 seconds to even use a make kit. It is just terrible. I mean, <laughs> you could be murdered by somebody with a pickaxe, for God's sake. And I'm not mad about that. You automatically spawn with a pickaxe because you got to build stuff. And quite frankly, all that building, like, you can build a spot to camp in the middle of the circle near the end of the game, which is terrible to me. But as I said, it's just not for me. If you're an Xbox guy, you should wait for PUBG. If you're a PlayStation guy, you're probably gonna play Fortnite because that's all you have right now. I heard about PUBG might be going to PlayStation, but who knows when that'll be, all right? And I'm out of here. King's blood, broadband bullies. It's official. Nintendo announced the Super Mario Odyssey Switch Bundle, and in typical Nintendo fashion, they will not be bundling the game for free, meaning you will be paying a whopping $380 as opposed to the standard 300 
Mind you, this bundle will include a standard Nintendo Switch with 32 gigabytes of internal storage, some red Joy-Con controllers, which you could just buy separately or buy a much cheaper skin. And here's the kicker, you'll be receiving a Mario carry pack for when you're on the go. And people called Microsoft crazy when they announced a $400 Minecraft bundle in which you will receive a fully customized console with one terabyte internal storage and it is themed around a bigger IP than Mario. But hey, people like to rag on Microsoft, don't they? What's good, YouTubers? It's one of your favorite broadband bullies. Post up with the close up. You already know Mr. Let's Talk About It. And we're going to hop right into it. So let's talk about it. Digital game gifting. It's finally available for Xbox One, allowing any game to be sent over xbox live now you have to be a part of the xbox live insiders program and you have to be in the alpha ring but this is great news and it continues the expansion of the xbox live digital ecosystem so shout out to mikey barra and his team because they have been doing a great job over the past months of shaping xbox live and into a formidable online networking system so it's two ways you can do this you can either gift a game to a gamer tag or you can gift it to a recipient that has a email now if you gift it to the gamer tag you won't need a email it'll go straight to that gamer tag they'll get a 25 character key um email to them or sent to them and they'll be able to redeem that via redeem.microsoft.com and same for sending it to the email recipient this is great news shout out to microsoft hope y'all try it out it's the bullies let's go and this is your boy the real masculine and that's been your broadband bulletin we appreciate y'all taking the time out of y'all day to watch this little video we put together and we hope you enjoyed it if you did, leave a like, drop a comment in the comment section below, follow all the bullies on Twitter, we'll leave the links in the description for that, and support our Patreon. We're just out here trying to grind, trying to get something together for y'all, trying to give y'all as much content and as much news as we possibly can. Follow us on our streaming platforms, whether that's Mixer, YouTube, or Twitch, or all of the above, and follow our official Twitter account at Broadband Bully. And that's bully with the I instead of a Y. Cause we can. But that's been your broadband bullies presenting to you your broadband bulletin. And we out.